I'm Melissa Clark of the Dining Section, and I'm going to show you how to cut up fennel. Fennel is a Mediterranean vegetable. Kind of looks like an onion, especially this round one, but it's got a really mild flavor, crisp texture, tastes a little bit like licorice, and the great thing about it is you can use both the bulb and the fronds. First thing you want to do is separate the stalks from the bulb, and you just take a knife and you just slice the stalks right off. Save these fronds. You can mix them into salads, you can chop them up and use them as a garnish, and they'll keep in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks. Next thing is to slice off the base. Now you want to examine the outside of the bulb. If it looks fresh and very plump, all you have to do is take a vegetable peeler and just peel off the outer layer. This one looks less appealing to me, so I'm going to remove the whole outer layer. So I'm going to take my knife, and then I'm just going to make a little slit right here, not too deep, and then peel away this outer layer. Yeah, you can see it doesn't look so good on the inside either. And then if you see anything else right here, vegetable peeler, just get rid of any brown bits. So now you want to have them, and you want to cut them the long way. So you don't want to cut them like this. You want to cut them like this, because they're going to be more stable on the cutting board when you turn them over like that. Now examine the core. See, this guy has a very big core, so I'm going to use a paring knife to cut it out. Pops right out. But this guy doesn't have much of a core at all, so I'm just going to leave it. Now I'm just going to cut them up. If you want nice half moons, you can go crosswise like that. If you want longer pieces, just follow the length. Or if you're going to braise the fennel and you need nice big pieces, you can just quarter them. And that's it. Fennel is such a great vegetable. You can eat it raw, you could cook it. Now that you know how to cut it up, you can do anything you want. Mm -hmm.